Hi everyone, welcome back to Exploratory Factor Analysis. So this is part two. So everyone, we have stopped here. We have run the EFA and we have found out that TU9 should be removed from uh, the second part of our EFA because of two things. One is TU9 does not belong to any factor and number two is the factor loading is less than 0.4. Okay, so we are going to rerun this analysis without TU9. So click Analyze, Dimension Reduction Factor. Okay, so if you did not do anything um, with this uh, analysis, you did not click Reset and so on, so you can just continue by removing TU9. Okay, so if you uh, have closed your uh, file and you are opening a new one please view the previous uh, video on um, to set all the data in terms of uh, descriptive extraction and so on okay so if not we just click ok and now let's uh, look at the items or the, the data to see whether or not this is a better uh, factor analysis compared to the previous one. So first of all, we need to check our KMO. So our KMO should be more than 0.6. So this is okay. And Bartlett test should also be significant. So this shows that our uh, data is factorable. Okay. So next, we're going to look at our total variance explained. So now it shows three factors have emerged. Okay, and from our screen plot, okay, so this is um, the line goes quite straight. So we have one, two, three items as well shown there. In the factor matrix table, also three items, and we are going to look at our uh, data in terms of the pattern matrix. So let's copy this into our um, Word document. And maybe just, you know, a different page. All right, so this is the second uh, round of EFA. So it depends uh, on the data itself, okay? Sometimes you have to run it more than once or twice. Sometimes you go into five rounds of EFA, sometimes not. So it depends on the data. So for the purpose of this, uh, practice activity, we are going to do it twice, okay? So look at the data now. So now for factor one, if you can remember from the previous video, um, the value must be larger than the uh, next column without uh, looking into the negative or positive values. So, so that means um, from TU12 until 14, this is actually considered as factor one. All right, so for factor two, it is from TU2, three, and one. So this is considered as factor three. And for factor four, um, we can take until the end and make sure that all of the factor loading is more than 0.4 because that is what we are we justify the factor loading to be more than 0.4. Okay, so now this is um, this looks good. Okay, this looks good, but now we have to double check with our um, original. Okay, original uh, questionnaire. Okay, so this is what we have considered okay so these are the items to represent our factors so let's just double check so now what we have here is okay this one is t12 11 13 10 14 okay so 10 11 12 13 14 is here so this is actually facilitating condition so this is good um, the next one is TU123, so this is performance expectancy. That means this is good. This represents performance expectancy as predicted. 
and the final one, 76548, so it's um, effort expectancy and only TU9 is not here. So let's put it as red. Okay, so we have removed T9. So in your uh, report, you have to explain this um, after running twice, uh, EFA twice, um, T9 has been removed and this will be the final uh, items. Okay, so this data is considered quite okay. Uh, some analysis where you can find the items has been jumbled up or some items uh, were misclassified into different factors and so on. So as a researcher, you need to read more about factor analysis. And in ULEARN, I have also um, uploaded some other uh, additional reading materials for you to uh, look up uh, what can be considered uh, when you want to delete certain items, okay? So there are other um, reasons that you can use or some uh, when you want to conduct factor analysis and depending on your uh, results, okay? So here, find, um, the results indicates that all of these three factors, okay, after running EFA, it represents the original, okay, what we predicted uh, from our questionnaire. So now um, in your notes, okay, I have here uh, example of how you want to um, report this uh, findings, okay. So this is the um, example of the factor analysis right up, all right. So here you have to explain the first round of EFA there were 14 items, okay, so with all the data mentioned. And result from the pattern matrix indicates that 13 items were cleanly extracted and the uh, TU9 were removed, okay, you have to mention somewhere there. Here's the result. All right, so as indicated in table one, so you, um, this would be factor one and this is factor two and factor three. All right, so this is uh, the end of EFA, so I hope you read up more so you can understand more about EFA. So we will stop here and we will meet again in our next video. Bye-bye for now.